So this is the thing about social media profiles. They change things on you every once in a while. So let's go to, let's make sure that you're on your home page, on your timeline, by clicking on your name. And then go to About. Now it used to be that to change your privacy settings about your About, there was a little um, pen right here. Now what you have to do is go right down to here and hover right here. Edit your contact and basic information. Once you do that, then you have the pen for each section. And um, we can edit for example that. Okay, so we can um, edit here. This one I want to have available to friends. Um, yeah, I want I my I want my websites to be available. I want to hide my emails. We're gonna make that only me and that only me and that only me and I didn't add this one at all <sighs> so once we've done all those things then we can do um, places you've lived now we have access to being able to choose who gets to see these things I'm going to edit this make this one only me I don't want people to know where I was born um, we can edit that. Nope. Yeah. So that's how you do those, and you can set that so that you know you decide which of your personal information people who don't know you can see. Once we have done all those settings, and there are some other things that we can do. We can go here to View Activity Log. And remember that we set it up so that I have to uh, review and OK when someone adds, tags me. We're going to review this right here. This is one of those I'm leaving up. This is a friend of mine who tagged me in her I love my friends and I have commented on it but I'm not putting it on my timeline I'm just letting it circulate as it's going to circulate with my name attached to it that's okay with me I think this was one that I put on my timeline and someone tagged me to say thank you for putting it there oh, I love this little guy Oh, that's so wimpy. Come on, give it all you got. Go! <laughs> that's another one that I originally put on my timeline and then someone tagged me. And so I didn't want to put it on my tag timeline again. You know, just there are a lot of things back here that have meaning to me, but I, I'm not going to. Now, here's one. I, I'll show you what you can do. You can actually untag yourself. Where did that go? Okay, so once it's hidden, then you can go, it says you're still tagged in this post, which appears in search, news feed, and other places on food, Facebook. So what you can do is you can go right here and you can actually untag yourself. And now that image, wherever it may be, will no longer have your name attached to it. So some things you can leave, make a comment, let it circulate, and other things you can eventually just take out altogether. And that's a little information about that. So I think that is, those are the main things that I wanted to teach you today. So once you have those things set up, and especially the ones that have to do with, oh yeah, you can also go over here. There is, in addition to the tagline, timeline review, you can also access other tags. 
like posts you're tagged in. Now, I'm not exactly sure of why some of those are included in the ones that you that I accessed earlier, but some of these are there are other things. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, that was a cute little thing. So that's that is hidden from my timeline, and I actually think I'm going to untag myself. I've been tagged for, with that one for a while, so we're going to just untag me. It takes the post off my tagline, timeline. I'm not going to ask her to take down. Nah, and you see that it was there twice, so I'll leave one of them up and take the other one down. See, here's another one that I don't really think I necessarily want to have. Although, again, it could be one of those where I want to make a comment and, you know what? No, I'm going to take this one down or I'm going to untag me. It's already hidden from my timeline. I'm just going to untag myself. There we go. That's done. So again, to access those, you go here to post your tag in, tagged in. And you can also look at the posts that you've hidden and just to review whether you actually want to hit, hide them. That's it. These are all things that I'd say that of all of the things that I've talked about, the ones that are the most important, you know, the ones that are settings, security, where you have created um, a notification when someone is trying to access your account and that can be you accessing your account from another browser. Uh, you add your phone as an extra layer of security so that you have to, that someone getting in, trying to get into your account has to use a code uh, you can set it up so that you the code is automatically generated and sent to your phone. Bo phone. Uh, you can decide to add another layer of security by doing passwords for your apps. You can choose several people to be your trusted contacts in case you are out of your locked out of your uh, Facebook account. You can let Facebook know which browsers you're most likely to use. That might include your, your smartphone, your tablet if you have one, your laptop, another computer that you're going to be using. And you, you can review where you've been logged in. I would do that one um, once once every couple of days, maybe even once a day. Just make sure, just to see whether there appear to be other places than where you've been, uh, where people are have logged in. Those, that's your, that's your main suite of tools to help you avoid being hacked. Now, I have to tell you that Unfortunately, there are people out there who are teaching other people how to hack your Facebook without having a password. And I don't know if you have those other login approvals in place. I don't know whether they can hack past those. But, I'll, you know, the, the re reality is that the hackers are pretty smart. So another level of of security for you is to have your friends who watch your page or notice your page. Usually it'll it's usually a friend who tells you and it's it's good to have a few friends who know who know your cell phone number so that they can send you a text or they can call you and say, you know, you better go in right now and change your password because it looks to me as though someone is posting spam on your wall or I just received a message that looked like you but it had it was totally uncharacteristic of you was that you so the that's actually the best defense is to have people that you are willing to call if 
it looks to you as there's something if there's something wrong and who are willing to call you under the same circumstances now there's another thing that I like to do just to see whether I'm being cloned and that is okay this is you see this little lock up here with the three lines this gives you access to some privacy settings um, that are we've already covered but this is like a shortcut you can de designate who gets to see it's like a shortcut to show you where to see where who you've been tagged by um, this is also a shortcut to that view as you basically I did basic filtering for my inbox although it's a it's a hassle because that means I get a lot of weird messages in my inbox but the other alternative is that I would have a whole bunch of people whose messages are being sent to other and I forget to check other so I can I have it set so that anyone can send me friend requests and basically most of the people most everybody can send me a message now here's the big one how do I stop someone from bothering me and this is very cool because I'm going to type my own name here and what's fascinating to me is that my own profile picture doesn't show up here unless I scroll down a long 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 way but you can check to see if your profile picture appears twice if it does that's a very very strong indication that someone has stolen your picture which is very easy to do and set up a cloned account so that's another thing to watch for as a friend is if you are already friends with someone and you get another request from them uh, I'll have I have a funny story about that because a lot of people now are beginning to set up two accounts one for you know business their business friends and one for their personal life so I received a request from someone who was already a friend and I just assumed that someone was cloning her and so I reported it to Facebook and I sent her a message and yeah she had just set up a second account so don't jump to the conclusion although with your own account you you're gonna know if you've been cloned at any rate if you see now you can also do this over here so over here my name shows up immediately and then I do a search and then I go down and see more results now that is my business page and I also created a group which I didn't ever really do anything with that I can scroll and I can come back up here and I can go find all people named Lori Owen and I can scroll down through them and see if my image shows up and this is a good thing to do see this is really interesting because it used to be that my profile had a picture of of uh, the Badlands and Badlands in Colorado it looked very much like this and at that time my hair was short and dark and when I first saw that I thought oh, I wonder if that's me cloned but it's not it's, it's a real person I don't think I'm going to find myself here because I don't think anyone has cloned me recently although you never know this is a good thing to do just to be sure amazing how many Laurie Owens there are in the world yep I don't see don't see me so another thing that it's a good thing to do is I'm going to introduce you to Google image search and to find that you just you just uh, type Google reverse image search so I'm going to do a Google search on my own profile picture and I, I did a right click copy image URL now on, in some browsers for some reason you have to download the image and then upload it again but basically you click here on this little camera 
and then I'm going to cut and paste my URL and I see myself on Facebook doing a review of the Lone Star Salon, uh, Skype Mafia Meetup, Facebook, Le Facebook Lead Chef, I did a review of that. I did a, a review of Thurston County Transmission. In other words, all of these images are me and not a clone, not somewhere cloned. And that's a good thing to know about that you can do an image search on yourself and see whether anyone is using one of your images. Well that's about it for right now. I think I've covered all the things that I think are important. 